Welcome to our YouTube channel, Maduabum Law Firm LLC. Today, we're discussing a topic close to many hearts, family-based immigration. If you're eager to bring your loved ones to the United States, you're in the right place. Let's dive in. Family-based immigration allows U.S. citizens and lawful permanent residents to sponsor certain family members for immigration to the United States. It's a complex process, but we're here to guide you through it step by step. Please subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell to get notified when we post new contents. Bringing family members to the United States through family-based immigration is a deeply personal and often complex process. Whether you're a U.S. citizen or a lawful permanent resident, the desire to reunite with loved ones knows no bounds. Family-based immigration allows eligible U.S. citizens and lawful permanent residents, green card holders, to sponsor certain relatives for immigration to the United States. The process is divided into two main categories, namely, immediate relatives and family preference categories. Immediate relatives, this category includes spouses, unmarried children under 21 years of age, and parents of U.S. citizens. Immediate relatives enjoy priority in the immigration process and do not face numerical limitations, making the process relatively quicker compared to other family-based categories. Family Preference Categories These categories encompass more distant relatives of U.S. citizens and lawful permanent residents, including unmarried sons and daughters over 21, married children of any age, and siblings of U.S. citizens. Family preference categories are subject to numerical limitations and often involve longer waiting periods due to visa backlogs. To navigate the family-based immigration process effectively, firstly you have to gather required documents. Start by gathering all necessary documents and evidence to support your petition, including birth certificates, marriage certificates, proof of relationship, and financial sponsorship documents. Secondly, file petition with USCIS. As a petitioner, you'll need to file Form I-130, Petition for Alien Relative, with U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services, USCIS. The form serves to establish the relationship between you and your relative and initiate the immigration process. Thirdly, wait for priority date to become current. For family preference categories subject to visa backlogs, you'll need to monitor the visa bulletin published monthly by the Department of State. Once your priority date becomes current, meaning a visa is available, your relative can proceed with the next steps of the immigration process. The next one is completing your visa application and attending interview. After USCIS approves the I-130 petition, your relative will need to complete a visa application and attend an interview at the U.S. Embassy or Consulate in their home country. During the interview, they'll undergo medical examinations and provide additional documentation. Lastly, receive immigrant visa and enter the U.S. Upon approval of the visa application and completion of all required steps, your relative will receive an immigrant visa, allowing them to travel to the United States and obtain lawful permanent resident status upon entry. Unfortunately, the process isn't always straightforward. Issues such as inadmissibility, visa backlogs, and changing immigration policies can complicate matters. That's where our expertise comes in handy. Contact Maduabum Law Firm LLC for any immigration matter you have. All you have to do is call us and rest assured that we will help you achieve your American dream. Bringing your loved ones to the United States is a journey worth taking, and we're here to guide you every step of the way. By following these steps and staying informed about relevant updates.